So the devil's greatest weapon is not his power though. I believe it's his deception. And I want you to start by looking at a verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. What I thought I would share with you in the few minutes here is why we have a vision to be a local church here. What is it that God is, uh, has set our hearts on for us practically as a local church? As you'll hear through this weekend, the, the, uh, the practical living out of the gospel and the holy living must happen in a local church. Otherwise, we are deceived. And I believe the devil has deceived many people into thinking that they're living holy lives individualistically. Well, they're not being made one with others. And this is a vision that the Lord has given us and we seek to live it out. We make mistakes. We're not perfect. But uh, it is Jesus who is building his church. And if, if there is a false Jesus, you know there's a false Jesus. All the way back in, in the first century, Paul said, another Jesus, in this chapter in 2 Corinthians 11, actually, he talks about another Jesus. So there was a, the true Jesus, who was the Son of God, born of a Virgin Mary, living in Nazareth and, grow, and living in, in the, around Galilee and Capernaum, etc., that we read about in the Gospels. But there is another Jesus. Now, he's not necessarily another physical person, but it's the spirit of Jesus that Paul warns the church in Corinth, which by this time is a pretty good church. See, in the first letter to, to the Corinthians, Paul had to deal with some pretty carnal issues. They were a pretty messed up church. Well, they fixed a lot of those issues and they started to become a little bit more spiritual. And if you're there, perhaps the Lord has dealt with some carnal issues in your life and you're growing. You've been set free perhaps from lust and anger and the love of money slowly being set free from those things. And you think, my life is doing well. Here's the warning. 